Alright, and I think we're back now. Matthew is uh, shoveling sugar. <laughs> I have to put so much sugar in this coffee. He's shoveling you sugar guys, into his coffee. Oh, you have no idea what he made for me. It is, a, it is a fascinating uh, adventure in flavors. What do you mean? Mm. So first of all, mint, a, a mint, mint latte, sure, a mint sure. mocha, these are things people like. They are, they are. Um, that is not what you made. <laughs> What do you mean? Wait, let me try it. I bet nice it's things. I bet it's fine now with some sugar. That's all it needed. I think it needs to be mixed up a bit. All the sugar's at the bottom. Yeah. There is no sugar. It needs to be mixed. That's what I, I said. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we have um, we have high fructose corn syrup in the. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just pour no, no. corn syrup in here. That's that's how I flavor my coffee. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know where that voice was coming from. I just started playing our stream at us, and uh, it startled me because I didn't know what that ad was doing. Um, no, you want to use uh, simple syrup or corn syrup for your really? coffee because granulated sugar will oh, just sink okay. to the bottom. I should have used uh, right, um, right. It's like when you put granulated sugar in iced tea, which uh, they would do when I was a kid, and it's just vile. Yeah, I'll just have grainy, grainy coffee now. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. you're right. You're right. Uh, my mistake. You're right about everything. Okay, we're gonna try to sink five. This is not part of the tri Triforce quest. It's just a. Uh, I think it is. Oh, no. fire! Okay, it's just an island I came across. So, I'm gonna go for it. I'm supposed to sink, not the fish. Oh, I see. It's one of these. Okay. Oh. Okay. Jump for the fish. Right. I actually okay. wonder if um. Let's see if wind is a factor in this or not. Oh boy. Might be. Might be. Is that way too high? Way too high. Okay, but I don't think wind was a factor. I think it no, went more or less straight. This is just a variation on those classic ballistics games. We can set the angle. Oh, that was so close. It was. Okay. Yay! Yeah, I go for that one. That looks like it's about the same distance. Down a bit. Quite a bit. May not have been enough. There you go. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah, try that second one. There you go. Mm -hmm. Little two. How many do we have left? Four? This probably isn't going to happen. I mean, if it takes. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get this one like in one. Pretty much. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, not gonna happen. Well, still good. Good practice. Good, good practice. practice. Good ballistics practice. Well, it's not that hard, really. Uh, I just bungled it. <laughs> it's too hard for you. Oh. I've never encountered anything too hard for me. That's, That's what a she sex. Said? Yeah, it's a sex joke, sort of. Oh, they're all the same distance. Kind well, of. not quite, not quite. They're, they're not quite as staggered. Yeah. I'm still worried about that fish. I don't think you can hit the fish. That would be tragic. Uh, oh, all right. Very nice. This one's a little. Now you're trying to impress me. But. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. All right. The bandwidth warning seems to have resolved itself. So yeah, that's I'm not detecting any bandwidth good. problems over here. Oh. Okay. That's as high as it goes. Oh, really? Yeah. So let's hope that does it. I did it. I wonder if this one's the same, but just it over here? It does seem the same distance, doesn't it? Yeah, let's see. Nope. Oh, ever so well, let's see, that might have been too much of a correction. Oh, so good. You're really impressing me. Hi. That's going to go too far, I think. Let's see. It is not. I'm on a date with a master marksman. <laughs> 
If this was a, um... Uh-oh. What did it say to us? Oh, uh, no, I think that was us, sorry. We had some laggy problems. Oh. <laughs> Magnificent. A lot of personalities in that guy. Yep. He's a very frustrated actor. He went mm. to uh, Juilliard for this. <laughs> yeah, it's disappointing because um, the computer can easily handle uh, streaming at 1080p, um, 60 frames a second. Um, but our internet cannot. So it's a bummer. We can't uh, stream at the full quality. Uh, and as for what's going on, uh, a little bit of uh, theater. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the theater, theater of the mind. Uh, for some reason, the minigame host is uh, this guy who holds up little cards to his face with face holes cut out uh, and acts out the characters. And he is a delight. Um, I am going to miss when we go to Twilight Princess. I know I keep saying that. I keep saying the things I'm going to miss when we go to Twilight Princess. But I'm going to miss just how eccentric all the, <laughs> the people are in this world. Oh, there's a few weirdos in Twilight Princess. Oh, there's, there's a bug girl. There's weirdos. But every there, there isn't a single character in the world of Wind Waker who isn't a weirdo in some way. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, we have to go to the teacher's cabana. <laughs> of course we do. Trying to find. The horizon is glowing red. Is it? Oh, uh, yeah, red sailor's sky. Tape morning. At night? Yeah. Well, wait. Is, it, is this the sailor's delight? Uh, no, I'm the sailor's delight. <laughs> you should see me at Fleet Week. There's a line around the block. I was wondering if you were to do a, a, a <laughs> Fleet I actually, Week joke. I actually thought it was going to be shore leave because that's okay, what okay. Uh, they always did for Blanche. Whoa! Bumped right into you. I did. That was aggressive. Uh, I guess while I'm here, part of the Triforce thing is getting Tingle to decipher maps. I don't know if I have any maps for him, but one should never pass up an opportunity to chat with Tingle. A Tingletunity. We <laughs> even like that. He's the fanged child. <laughs> Oh, is Tingle gone? No, no. no. Uh, these are his slaves. They complain Good. about how they uh, have to turn the tower all day to produce his fairy magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we found a chart. We did. I'm just going to take a screenshot of him saying that fragrant, musty <laughs> scent that sums you up. That sums me up. <laughs> oh, sure. It's not expensive. Yay! <laughs> I love how he mimics, uh, like his poses. Now, there are some yeah. twisters circling this island. Those aren't things that you need to fly out to, are they? No. No, I think they're just hazards for the boat. I don't think they're meant to elevate you to... Greater heights. Uh, there's no, like nothing, you know, treasure on top of Tingle's tower or something like that. You know, if there were, I'd think that uh, just becoming a seagull would be a better way to get mm. it. Oh, oh, there's a uh, yeah. Oh, there's rupee. one rupee there. Mm -hmm. Which yeah, a whole leaf adventure seems like overkill. Yeah, I don't, I'm not even sure that you can make it that far because those are all too misleadingly distant. Yeah, I think um, I think the seagulls oh, probably. Don't have 
time for those Sharknados. Yeah, uh, shark murderer. It's true. Yep. Mm -hmm. I forget, have you dealt with whatever the challenge of this island is? I believe that's the Tower of the Gods, so yes. Oh. 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 Tangle bottle. I never read them, I don't know why. Even. <laughs> you keep collecting them for nothing. Yeah. Whoa! What? You came very close to a, to a squid. There's another one. Well, that's fine. Killing me here. <laughs> Kidding me, Buster. Rough seas. It's true. It's a very undulating ground plane. <laughs> it is. Thank you. Look at it go. Um, I mean, it's impressive that this was on the GameCube because that is. Uh, I mean, it's not complicated geometry, but still, um, it's a very organic shape. Hmm. Yeah, it looks nice and smooth. Technology at that time was not great at organic shapes. Even the sail. Look at how like, nice and billowy the sail is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've bumped some of that up for the uh, HD, but not, like, dramatically so. Oh, here we are. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the cabana life. Yeah. Do you want to have a cabana life? Would this be a nice place for us to retire? I could put out a little uh, bird feeder and attract pigeons. Sure. Nobody would come bother me? We wouldn't get deliveries in the middle of <laughs> doing stuff? Yes. So rude of them to bring us food in the middle of, uh... No, no, that's fine. Oh, they brought us food? Well, balance bars. Oh. Um... They can just leave it outside the building. Outside the cabana? Yeah. You don't have to let us know. I'll get it eventually. Oh, somebody's been Lots of bottles over here. Yeah, bottles. somebody's been brewing from me. I think that's what tingle bottles are for? Filling with hooch? Yes. Okay. If I recall, you've got to show him the deed. What's mm, this? Gotta do Wait. the deed. Oh, did somebody want you to mail something for them? Oh, maybe. Let's see. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Some kind of bunny letter. Yeah, who gave that to you? Some, I remember you getting the... Um, oh, is this the, from someone? Uh, the girl who was in love with the Moblin? Yes, yes, it's the Nouveau Riche girl. Yeah. Oh, well, that's taken care of. And now uh, this is taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, nothing, there aren't any characters in Twilight Princess <laughs> quite as weird, weird as, the, as the sexy door butler. Yeah. And there's weird stuff. Recall, there's lots of climbing opportunities around here. I may be thinking of someplace else. Oh, it's possible. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I think the hookshot can hook onto any of these palm trees. Maybe not. Wrong. Mm, yeah, yeah, no, there, there definitely was hook shotting to palm trees on the other island. Yeah, I think they have to be. Oh, oh no, uh, no, no, well, no. I'm just not close enough. Yeah. Wait, hold it. I can get closer. I also probably can just walk over there, but let's see. Oh, no, I've been oh. here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure you have. Yep. Yeah. Something got really sunny. That's the island life. Indeed. Well, you know what they say about uh, Cabana Island, if you don't like the weather. Suck yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Suck it, Marianne. I thought you were going to go with something, Heather. If you don't like the weather, what's your damage, Heather? Oh. That rhymes. Uh, All right, in, into the house. Oh. Yes, the sexy door butler is very attentive. <laughs> oh, I grabbed his hand. Ooh, sirs, with a smile. Is he also... A vertical oh. smile. Okay. 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 Stop sniffing his butt. Oh, it is about that height, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's one yes. of these. No. Oh, there's so many of him. It's true. What? 
Oh god, all his brothers? What was... Oh, and the bath attendant? Oh yeah, what, what, was, the what was the teacher, teacher up to? Doing? Hello! Hi Grayson. This is Sexy Furry Friends and hello viewers. Are we expecting sexy furries? You must always expect sexy furries. I had a conversation last night about, um... About my little pony. Oh. Um, I think you might need to solve the puzzle before that comes down. Oh. I could be wrong about that. Oh no, no, I'm wrong. Yeah. I thought it was gonna swing me straight into the fire. Uh. Oh. Down you go. Well, I guess we're not solving the puzzle. <laughs> That's fine, I hate- th those block sliding puzzles are my least favorite kind of puzzle. Oh, I can solve them with my eyes closed. Well, let's- let's give that a try. Left, left, up, right, down, left, right. There. What? That's the solution. Yeah. That's your solution to everything. Well, already oh, you're already around. lost. Okay, go down there. I, whenever I lock onto the rats, I'm spinning around. And down. Don't sidle. You did miss it. After you left yesterday, I did really poorly in the temple. Oh. Um, I forgot to get the boss key, so there's a lot of backtracking, and I didn't know what parts I needed the plant guy for and which parts I didn't, and it is definitely not designed for you to bring the plant guy back. Oh. <laughs> like, it's meant for you to keep moving him forward. Uh -huh. enough room. Sure, there's other stuff around here, but... Oh, well, yeah, there's mazes. a whole bunch of different passages. I think I saw something if you go straight ahead. Maybe. Well, I can go into oh, first person. No, that's, I just saw that change of wall. Well, this is so much easier. Wait, is this, is this where I came, came in? in? Maybe. No, no it's not. No. but I don't want to get burgled by a rat. There is not. I didn't expect there to be. Okay, okay so that's, 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 that's what I thought. Is Yeah, there was a great right where I came in. Why didn't that go all the way? Oh, he flounders when you hit him. So I know, sad. you're very sensitive to the death of rats. rat abuse. Is it abuse? Well, probably. No. Okay, so there's another thing you gotta find Right, somehow. so that's where I went in originally. Okay, you know, go through, go through. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Back out. Why? Mm, maybe I'm wrong about this. I came Wait, up what's, from there. What's to the right? Okay, okay. I okay. came up from there. I hit yes. these switches. That goes back to the beginning. Yep. This is where we haven't been. I don't know what this liquid is. We did see um, the teacher's bathtub <laughs> up right. at the top of the cabana. So this may just be all the drippings from years and years of her bathing up yeah, there. Yeah. This is the teacher's uh, wastewater reclamation facility. It's one way to describe it. Yeah. Ooh. I would call it her, her sweet, sweet okay. juice. Um, yeah. Repository. Okay. I, I mean, I just picked it random. I don't know if there's any way to know which of the two slots to go in. Ah, oh, you can never go wrong with slots. Is that... What? Oh, okay. No, no, this is new. This is new. I thought you just Maybe. came back in the same room that you were in. This might be the one from the very beginning. No. No. no this is it new. is not. This is a mini dungeon where every 
everything looks kind of the same. Yeah, it's like a uh, parking garage. But it's like that episode of Seinfeld where you spend the whole time in the parking garage. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hear about Seinfeld. <laughs> or water sports oh. running from years of play. Well, you know, she, uh, she's committed to following her bliss. <laughs> she loves joy. Here at the cabana. Yeah, she's, uh, she's all about joy. I really do not know where we are. I think I do. Okay, okay. yep, 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 yep. All right. So, down we go. Plop. Whoa, oh. Whoa. oh, these guys. Oh, no. You guys. The teacher had these guys lying around. That's an excellent question. And the haunted butler. The teacher's got a lot going on. Oh, remember that doesn't hurt him? It just makes him scarier. Yeah. What about the, uh, what about the hammer? Oh, you have to get close. Whoa, oh, no, that was not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> He okay, wasn't expecting it. Surprise. He was not expecting that. Oh, but look how he presents now. Yeah. He's in the slutty squirrel pose. Squirrel? Yeah, you know that pose? The slutty squirrel? It's, uh... No? It's when you're kind of, like, on your knees, but you're, you're, like, sitting up really straight. And you're... Well, whatever. I guess... Must have been something I, I picked up somewhere along, the, uh, along my adventures. The slutty squirrel? What makes that a squirrel? a good question. I guess because you could, like, be eating an acorn or something. What? So you're on your knees? Yeah, you're on your knees. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're like this or whatever, but, uh... Oh. I know, I know. I'm gonna open the gate first. I think this is the end of our travails. So you're on your knees, uh, doing like a... It's kind of squirrely, isn't it? T-Rex arms? Whatever. You're just being attentive. To what? Wait, squirrels are attentive? Is that what yeah, they're known to for? whoever has, I don't know, nuts. Oh. I don't... I don't know if slutty squirrel is a thing. Maybe. I, did I make that up? I, I think it's possible. Oh, very good. Yay. You got so, a piece of cheese. Oh, dear. <laughs> Um, in the oh, look at the, tr the trilobites. George Kennedy? No, I did not hear. What what, what? happened with oh. George Kennedy? <laughs> I didn't see the chat. <laughs> I thought you were addressing George Kennedy. I didn't know who that was. <laughs> was George Kennedy being a, a sexy squirrel? I hope tragedy hasn't befallen me. Oh, yep, there we go. It passed away. I'm That's not sure who that is. Um, the name's really familiar. What what do we know him from? Because I definitely know the name. Oh. <gasps> the amusements of nobility. I do indeed. No. Indeed uh, I would. Okay. I, oh no, I guess it's we just don't really definitely yeah. do not need the instructions. I can offer his money. Uh, Most right. certainly. We'll we'll give this a shot. Well, that is a shame. We can uh, we'll pour one out for George Kennedy. Here, you do this. Okay. I hate these so much. <laughs> uh, all right. That's right. That's right. Well, that's a bummer. He and. David Bowie and Antonin Scalia can... I don't... What can they can, do? They can what rot. Can they do? I don't know. I mean... They're probably... Wherever they've gone, they're like probably not all in the same place. Uh, probably not. It's, oh, is that the top? Of, that's the top of his head. Where's the other side? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, it's hard to figure out where the... Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to do this with your eyes closed. Uh, they are closed. Mm. <laughs> I find that dubious. I find you dubious. That's not right. What's with all the lights on the side? I don't know. Oh god, are there that many of these puzzles? I think there might be. 
Okay. Well, we're uh, not going to do all of them. <laughs> that will not be happening. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm sure this is exactly how George Kennedy would want to be remembered in a uh, Zelda live stream. Oh, boy, that piece of that head is all bland. Mm -hmm. See, these puzzles are terrible. No, oh, they're the amusements of nobility, are they? Uh, well, uh, do you not consider me noble? Mm. I mean, look at how noble this image is. It does speak to something. Wait, what is that thing on the side there? What thing on the side? I'm not sure what that little fragment is. Oh, oh, that's his hand. I see. No. Done. Well. No, no, no. I don't remember too much of the Naked Gun movies, but I do remember Leslie Nielsen swimming in sewage and saying he loved it. It was a code word, but his radio wasn't working, so he just kept talking about how much he loved to swim in sewage. Yep, there are this many puzzles, and we are not doing any more. Yeah. They're one of the easiest things to code, so I can see how... You know, if you've already set up the code to do one, I can just sure, do as many do a as... Bunch of pieces of art. Yeah. Oh, you're one of the most talented gamesmiths. Mm. That's he's talking to me. No. Oh no! It comes oh. out of his butt! No! That's magnificent. <laughs> what is this game? No. <laughs> that is great. Uh, I hope there's a Star Wars game where C-3PO shoots money out of his butt. Credits. Yeah, I know, I know. That is terrific. Thank oh. you, Jeeves. Now, I'm sure he freaks out if you smash the glittery pots, I right? I think he does. I'm not sure. I kind of don't want to upset him after he pooted money at us. Mm. I mean, he did us a solid. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the Triforce stuff that uh, I know where it is, um, and then we can hunt now, those, later. those little attachments there. Oh, that's right. You get you get prizes for doing trade, and you can put them down. Yeah, you can decorate oh, things. Right. Um... Heart. Nice. Anal beads come to mind. Anal beads always <laughs> come to mind. <laughs> they are always just inches away from top of mind. No, boy, those are it's a long Some strand. Beads. It's a long string of beads. Well, I used to be a flapper. Oh dear. Um, and of course, in the original GameCube version, you didn't get a piece of Triforce there. You just got a chart. Then you had oh. to sail around and grab it with the claw. That's right. So they've replaced a bunch of those with. Um, just giving you the piece. Uh, only three of them require deciphering Digging the chart, and that's, yeah. Are they X'd off on the map where you want to go? Oh. No, 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 I, I just, I, I know that there's one on Outset Island. Oh. oh aren't you clever? Uh, so Outset Island, there's the ghost ship, although that requires getting the ghost ship chart, which I don't remember how to do. I think you already have it. Get where you get that, uh, but it's fine. You can get from one of Pac-Man's ghosts, certainly. Get the one at Outside Island. I think one of them is in that treasure chest uh, from the island with the block puzzle. That uh, we get to the top and there's a beam of light, and we didn't have the mirror shield at the time. Uh... I don't think it is circular. That's no. actually a good question. I think it just turns you around yeah. if you hit the edges. The king's like, where are you going? Yeah. That actually would have been neat. Yeah. Um, I guess it would have implied a very small Small planet. world, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, no spoilers, but I mean, it's, the game's like 13 years old. Um, at the <laughs> end, the our heroes set off sort of beyond the known edges of the ocean. Oh. It's like Star Trek. Kind of. The boat just goes into space? Yes. Uh, huh. Z 
Zelda in space. Zelda in space! Like, a, a sort of fantasy sci-fi... Yeah. I could see it. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. It. I mean, it would actually, if it was like Mario Galaxy, and yeah. it was all micro-planets. Little tiny planets, and you're zooming around. And I mean, it could kind of be structured like this, where you have like a star chart. Uh -huh. I don't know, I'd be into that, Zelda in space. Bump into Samus. Oh my god, that'd be so good. And Star Fox? <laughs> and the Wii Fit Trainer? Because sure. they're from space. Well, I don't know the Wii Fit Trainer's backstory, but uh, from the looks of him slash her, uh, he, she is not, not entirely human. I'm sure that's been explored in all kinds of slash fiction. Mm. It's kind of what Smash Brothers has become. What if they did Slash Brothers? Oh, Super Slash Brothers? Yeah, and it's uh, they just it's it's just butt munching. Uh huh. It's just you get all Nintendo's greatest hits. All of Nintendo's greatest butt munchers. Greatest, yeah. The Gan and Link Zelda perpetual relationship could easily translate in different settings. It That's could. true. Like some sort of galactic. Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking now of, um, uh, what's the Wizard of Oz adaptation in space? Oh, uh... The Wonderful yeah. Galaxy of Oz? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um... You know, the next game looks like it's gonna be the same kind of fantasy setting it's always been, but, uh... Like, Wind Waker showed just how well it works mm. outside of that. I mean, it still has all the touchstones of the other Zelda games, but it's a very different flavor. I wonder how one builds a bridge like that from one cliffside to the other. Very careful. Oh, I think I bungled it already. I think I was supposed to go, well, we'll see. This might work. This is yeah. a long flight. It's true. Oh, you gotta make sure you have uh, done all Yay, your homework you and gotten it. all your garbage. <laughs> No, I mean, I think it is pretty easy. I mean, you have somebody seeking power, you have somebody seeking wisdom, and then you have somebody, uh, or not, you have somebody who represents wisdom, and then you have somebody yeah. with courage who has to protect wisdom from power. Uh, you can stick that in just about anything. And you can get a space horse. Mm hmm In fact, I now demand that you get a space mm -hmm. horse. You know, and all the weird species in the Zelda universe would serve very well as, like, aliens. Sure, like this guy. Morons and, well, yes, that. If only you could wear that as a hat. <laughs> I really want that. Just keep... Wait, this isn't the trial, the pit of a thousand trials, is it? It is, but you gotta get a certain depth into oh, it. Oh, boy. Um, it's, it's fine. Um... Did I ever tell you about how in Fallout 3, the way they made one of the trains animate, because they didn't have um, a way to animate trains, is they just put uh, a train hat on a character? It's just someone who's like zooming along some train tracks? It's an ordinary sized guy underground, and then they have just an entire subway train uh, as a hat on his head. And so he walks underground, and uh, that's what makes the train move. That is, uh, that is actually how the trains work here, too, in Seattle. They, uh... <laughs> Makes sense. We are two weeks away from a subway station opening across the street from our house. It is really? the most exciting thing that has ever happened to me. Oh. I'm just gonna be riding trains every single day. Not, not that you have anywhere in particular to go. I have go. nowhere just... to go. I'm just gonna be riding trains. Well, I mean, the nice thing is that they go downtown, so I can ride my bike downtown and then take the train back up. So I don't have to ride up a difficult hill. So uh, it's even less exercise I have to do. I'm gonna get so much fatter. Um, are these trains gonna have bike racks? Yes, they're so good. Okay. They have really, really nice bike racks on the train. Hmm. I'm so excited. I may. Uh, I'll put the bike in one rack and, and uh, hook myself to the other one. What? <laughs> I'll just hook myself into the bike rack. And, and put the bike in a chair. So the chair, <laughs> the chair sitting, I mean the bike sitting there comfortably in a chair and I'm hooked into the bike rack. 
I'm unclear on your plans. Uh, and, and this is not why I thought you were such a big supporter of trains. Hmm. So you could... You could put a bicycle in a human seat? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. I, that is not my plan, but... Uh, Exciting. Can I take the, the train to the University of Washington and ride around in the um, the northern part of Seattle across the across the, the water? Well, as far as I'm aware, maybe I'm wrong, the university area is not that exciting. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's nice. Okay. Yeah, okay. And it's just been kind of a pain to, uh, to bike over that way because you have to that unbearable hill to get back to the place. Yeah. yeah. So you have a nice little toot along the bike trail. It's more like the Gasworks Park, which used to be like an oil refinery or something, like Gasworks. It's beautiful and industrial because they've reclaimed everything, turned it into a park, and all the like old industrial stuff has been painted bright neon colors. Uh huh. Um, and it looks really nice and a beautiful view of the of Seattle. Uh, so you can go ride your bike all around all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're doing more landscaping. Um, so it's really pretty. And now you can go do that and not have to worry about uh, this horrible ride back up the huh. Um, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. I didn't think Gasworks Park was in the university area, though. Oh, no, no, no. It's, oh. it's a bit more of a... It's more like a yeah. Okay. Because, like, all I know of the university area is where the Apple Store is, which is not... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not even there. That's yeah, not, it is. That's not, well, I guess that's. I mean, there's just on the, the Husky edge. Stadiums right there, and the buildings where the classes are right there. Well, here's the thing: is it, it's kind of misleading because it feels yeah. like it's really close, but the only way to get to that Apple Store right now is to drive. So it feels like it's close, okay. but it's actually kind of far. But you have walked there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, you walked there from your place. I forgot about that. It's not that far. <laughs> all right, all right. Every, I mean, you're the one who's like, oh. Uh, <laughs> It's a 12-minute walk to get from campus to the, the Fenway Park. It is, and if, you're, if you're walking in a reasonable time. James took a whole bunch of us on this death march one time. It was a lovely stroll. It was a evening. lovely stroll. He was like, it's just like a 12-minute walk. And he brought a whole bunch of people on this walk to from the campus, this has been college, from the campus to this new apartment where we're going to be living. Um, it was like 45 minutes, and one of us had a prosthetic leg, and so it was, I don't I don't think, he wasn't complaining, it wasn't grueling for him, no. but I mean, still, to be like, oh, hey guy, with a with one leg, let's go on this long journey. It was an evening promenade, and I'm sure he appreciated that I am prosthetic leg blind. Sure. It wasn't what anyone was expecting. I expected it. I expected a lovely evening stroll. It's always nice to take a stroll with you. I would take you on strolls through the uh, red that's light true, district that's of San true. Francisco. <laughs> James likes to... James's little walks through the city are always through the worst neighborhoods. What? The, I mean, they're lovely, but um, neighborhood most likely to step in something. Or someone. There's often, like, you know, th these are these are like lovely little hikes through like areas with chain link fences and um, discarded uh, bags of garbage. Sure. Yeah. The I nice, do the nice parts of town. No, I do the uh, the downtown <laughs> ones from um, the little shop of horrors. Yeah, that's right. It's exactly what it's like. I'm the I'm the lady at the beginning holding the bags and trudging alarm. Yeah. Trudging along, <laughs> trudging alarm. Well, you. Uh, you I end go up, off at seven. You end up alarmed. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I'm <laughs> Do you remember the time I was walking back from Daniel's and somebody threw a bottle at me? No. I do remember the time I was running home, and I honestly don't know why I was running. Um, you were drunk. You were drunk. Yeah, that's not right. Um, and somebody yelled from a car window, Run, Meth Queen, run! It was Bob Dylan. Yeah, I don't uh, know why is it always that voice when you tell the story. Because <laughs> that's what it sounded like. Can you take the weapons down into the hole with you? Uh... I, I bet you know. can't, but I also don't know what the rules are. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm breaking all the rules here. It's everything's coming up, Trump. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you're doing very well, by the way. This was a very challenging dungeon for me. Hmm. Um, this dungeon is a pussy cat. <laughs> now that I've said that, I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, there yeah. we go. It to be on fire. Oh, no. 
and that arrow was on fire. <laughs> that is a selection from the Julia Sugarbaker monologues. That should be a one-woman show. The one-woman Julia Sugarbaker show? Wouldn't that right. be great? I don't know, actually. She may need a foil. She may yeah. she needs somebody to be yelling at. Yeah. He lands so delicately. He does. So, one of the reasons I've been a little hesitant to use arrows is that enemies don't drop them here. Oh. Uh, enemies also don't drop parts. So the only way to replenish them is in those, like, every, I don't know, 10 hours or so. There'll be some pots, some grass. Will there be some Annie Pots? She's also from Designing Women. She certainly is. Wouldn't that be a surprise if you dropped down here and Annie Pots was waiting for you? I wouldn't be expected. Hello, sugar. Although, um, you know, I would expect the unexpected from Wind Waker. <laughs> it's full of surprises. I wouldn't have expected the butler door to no. shit rupees, but it did. Yes, it's like it's the opposite of a trip to urine town. You must always expect the expected. If, um, I forget where that storyline goes. Do I hear wedding bells? Uh, no. Oh, then I must be having a stroke. <laughs> Go down the, the flaming hole mm. once again ah. into the breach. So they've the, the dungeon that they added to Twilight Princess is one of these. It's uh, oh, one of these uh, yes. quite as many things to can. It may be designed uh, exclusive, not exclusively, but designed for wolf mode link. Uh, interesting. Now I, there was one of those. I think though it was for human link, oh. and so I think they've added one for wolf link. And there's something about it sinking to the end. Uh, you actually need the amiibo to get into the dungeon. It's, it comes with it uh, if you get a physical copy. So you gotta get it. Oh, okay. We've got a pretty good collection of amiibo, though. I don't know why they've gone. No, we don't. We have two amiibo. There's like really? oh. 40 of them now. Uh, that might... Oh, 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 I'm thinking of the Lego, the, the mini things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we got Lego coming out the butt. But um, mm. amiibo. That's where they come from. We're sorely lacking on because uh, when they became so scarce, mm. I just lost interest. Yeah, take the stick with you. All right, let me finish my coffee. Yeah. My sugar is finally starting to dissolve in my coffee, so I can hear something's <laughs> dissolved in you. <laughs> oh, it just disappears. Um, all of a sudden, I've revived the rival. He's so triumphant. It's such a wonderful <laughs> surprise when he jumps out. What if he was just jumping out to wish you a happy birthday? He had a cake in his hand. He had a cake and he throws the cake at you? Yeah. No. <laughs> Good job. It's quite a standoff. No. <laughs> what is he targeting? He doesn't really step, does he? He just slides around. Kind of. And then you get his butt. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He lands like spread eagle. <laughs> I was just concerned for a moment about how your health is doing, but uh, you have almost all of your hearts. I also have four fairies. 
and I won. <laughs> In fact, I could probably make it all the way to the end of this. Normally, you just, you know, like, you only have to go down to the heart level, but, um... What do you get if you go all the way down? Oh, a piece of heart. Well, that's kind of good. It is. It just takes a long time. And you can't, like, resume. You have to start at the beginning of the level. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. That's what's going on Oh, I don't know. It would, it would be actually be nice if there was a... I mean, you can tell because the enemies go in the chronology of when you encounter them. So I'm still only at the forest yeah. temple. Oh, oh, you have to have and then he shits on you. So, you know, we both... You gotta we both give suffered. a little, take a little, can't even go to the front, thank you. That's... Yes, it is. I forget, have you seen beaches? What? Oh. You haven't, have you? No, no, I thought you said, have you seen Beetlejuice? Well, I know you've and seen I'm, that. I have, but uh, I was taken aback that that song is in Beetlejuice. Uh, Beetlejuice has some terrific songs, but not that one. It's got Harry Belafonte. It does. The banana boat. Banana. <laughs> it's, just, it's interested in bananas. Ooh! That's oh. <laughs> exciting. I guess the background changes slightly for each of these. That's kind of an indicator of progression. <laughs> the, sis, the, the sissy teapots. The sassy teapots. Oh, the sissy teapots. Sissy sassies. Grayson said it would probably take very little effort to tweak Wind Waker uh, software to create a spanking simulation game with a variety of implements. No. And keeps paddling those enemies. It's true, I'm looking at uh, his various bits of gear, and uh, yeah, it would not be too difficult. I also notice he has a pig bag. Yeah. Did you want to make something of that, or do you want me to make something of it? I, you know, I'm just saying. I could make a hat, or a brooch, or a pterodactyl. Uh, no, I, I don't know what kind of implements he has in the pig bag. Well, bait and, and pears, but... Uh, it's in my pig bag. No. Everyone should have a pig bag. Or be a pig bag. Pop. That's interesting they give you bomb flowers there. Yeah. So to, um... There is a spanking simulator, which I, I, I hope everyone's aware of. Robert Yang made a wonderful... What is it called? I forgot the name of it. Hurt Me Plenty. Hurt Me Plenty, that's it. I can't remember, it's like, is it hurt me silly? Spanky silly? <laughs> the biggest complaint about combat in this game is that you can only lock on if you're super close, and uh, if you're at the distance, I would expect lock on to work in other games. Mm. Um, it just, like, like now, I would expect it to work. Yeah, yeah. Like, why am I... But I have to get... Whoa. There we go. Yeah. I get that close. Close enough for him to jump at me. Which, I mean, I get that, I guess they want to... You have to put yourself in some kind of danger, but because a lot of this combat happens at medium to long range, I mean, I don't know, it's just, like, there you get, like, it... Yeah, like, the, the boomerang can go so much further than you walk on. Yeah, and I mean, I guess maybe that's to get you to go into the first-person mode. Um... But the first person mode is bullshit. Come on. <laughs> Fighting words. Anyway, yes, I think uh, the moral of the story is we, we need a, 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 a mini game. Sure. Here's a perfect example. I want to lock yeah. on to him. There we go. Ooh. I know, I know, I need the leaf, but. Uh, oh, three arrows. I, I mean, the first oh. 
Oh, maybe. Well, I might just pull him. Pull you into the fire, yeah. Why don't we pull me into the fire, but I might pull, the pull fire him you. into yeah. me. Yeah. All giggling at you. Do the first person mode. Can you recover any of those arrows? Uh, did they fall on the ground? I thought I heard one, but no, I guess not. I heard them as well. I thought you tried to Oculus Rift. Um, mm. no, I was in line to try an Oculus Rift at some event, and line was too long, and uh, it was like whatever. I have only photographed people looking ridiculous playing games. I mean, part of the problem is how self-conscious I feel putting one of those things on. Uh, there is a photograph of me, and I don't know what the best way to explain it. There's a photograph of me somewhere in 1996 wearing a virtual reality goggle thing. Uh, what does it say? Oh, cyber smart. Yes. And I think that's the last time I put a virtual virtual reality on my head. Yeah, I'm interested in the VR headsets, but uh, only. But there's such a long wait to see them. Yeah, I mean it's 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 like medium interest. I'm not super excited about it. And I don't think there's any game in particular that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to do this. Sure. Well, I mean games like I'm. I think the utility for games, um, like, there'll be some cool stuff. I'm actually more curious to see, like, what kind of non game just, like, interesting experiences and software and porn. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. They come up with for it. Grace nice. what about the Google Cardboard setup? Now, that is a little more interesting to me, but I think you need an Android phone for that, right? Uh, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's Google. Um, I think that that is the way most people are going to be experiencing VR for quite a while, because the barrier to entry for Vive, uh, Oculus, and, uh, probably the PlayStation 1 is going to be really high. And I also think, like, Vive and Oculus are super, super high quality, like, 90 frame to 100 frame per se or 120 frame per second. Um, devices with like really precise motion sensors and that sort of thing, and I think most people don't give a shit about yeah, that. Yeah, how nice it is. Yeah, I think um, they just want something kind of neat and accessible. And uh, the cardboard and uh, Gear VR both provide that, just like with your phone. So like you already have the hardware, and you just need this little peripheral. I think that's going to be the way most people enjoy VR for the foreseeable future. That's me being a pundit. I play Zelda. Very wise, very wise. Yeah. Um, no, so I, I have mixed feelings about VR stuff because um, I, I think what I want right now, and I'm saying that without ever having played any of these games, so who knows? Uh, is I want an experience where I can just explore like it's mist. Oh, I bet, I bet people will do stuff like that. I, I'm, I think that would be great. I think that would be a lot of fun. But also, it's possible that I'll get into it and be like, oh, it's so Well, if it's like mist and there's a puzzle, I mean, like, sure. mist had enough gameplay that it was a huge hit. I mean, sort of, some people like to poo poo it these days, but it was, um, Hugely popular, and uh, a lot of for a lot of people, it was um, tech demo for their CD-ROM. Like they got to show off what their fancy new computer could do. And I think a game like Mist probably will come along pretty early in uh, in VR, just so people could be like, oh my god, see what my thirty-five hundred dollar setup can do. But only one person can see at a time. Well, yeah, I guess you're like a Tupperware party, you have people over to. Stuff them into your VR <laughs> headset. Uh, sure. I mean, it's like a Tupperware party where, like, only one at a time you have to show somebody into a room and you're like, now only you can look at this little Tupperware container right now. Yeah. It's very exclusive. Yep. Like, uh, Oculus, um, you know, there's the price, and then there's also the fact that you need, like, essentially a brand new PC with, um, Three or four open USB ports, uh, USB 3 ports, I think, um, which is just prohibitive for a lot of people. 
Sure, sure. And, and this is why I think that uh, there's such a rich market for porn, because uh, what else, you know, what else are you going to yeah. do? You're all by yourself. Um, well, yeah, no, I think porn is going to be a killer app for it, but... Uh, Oh. Can I not go deeper? Yes, you can. You can stand in those beams of sunlight and destroy the elephant. Oh, of course. An interesting little secret way to do things. I forgot about the elephant. Hmm. Your enemy. Um, but when it comes to porn, I think that uh, Google Cardboard is going to yeah. be more than sufficient. Like, I don't think you need 120 frames per second of HD Pootie Tang. Although that does sound like uh, a <laughs> I know that doesn't do anything. Uh, the boomerang freezes yeah, in midair. The boomerang's afraid. I don't think it does actually, but I can. I can try. Does it? Oh, well, it made a I got hurt sound, but. I think it hurt it, yeah, but yeah. did not kill it. Um, oh, but here we go. That's what I was looking for beam of light. Will he be hurt as soon as he walks into the Yeah, light? I think so. Oh, maybe? No. Oh, oh there he yeah. goes. Yeah. I'm dead. Stupid zombie. I do hope there aren't a lot of rooms of these guys. They're, uh, they're not fun. Well, they're just a, ever so slightly tedious. Just totally the distracted. There was something I was supposed to do. No. Plop. Uh, that's something I was thinking in that past room, but I don't remember. Oh. Ah, yes. to see if I was in trouble at all, but, uh... No, no you're in pretty good shape. I don't think this is going to be a problem. No, and you're making good progress. At this point, you're at what? This is the, um, wind temple, right? Earth. Right, because Earth yeah, is where yeah, you yeah. get the mirror shield. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna... Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna save. Not that it... Actually, that is fun. Yeah. Uh, continue. Not that it saves my like progress through this thing, but uh, I wouldn't want to have to get that stupid Triforce piece again. No. There we go. 
know there's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh! I didn't know oh. they could do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is eyes. <laughs> oh, that's very troubling. That's so good. Can you make it into the sun? I don't know if you. Oh, that trick was <laughs> <laughs> He looks at himself like I'm naked. Oh, he just realized he's uh out in public in his pajamas. This is the Oculus Rift coin that I want. Ghosts. It is. All the animations in this game are so good. <laughs> oh, they're in the wind tunnel. Yeah. They're just like, oh, it's Link! <laughs> oh! Ugh. <laughs> I know, I know. Do your thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, step into the light. Oh, he killed the... He well, hit the zombie for you. Yeah. Which... Come to the light, my darling. <laughs> I really don't need this. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you'd be stunned. Yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Make a good team. What is he? He's a moblin. The little ones are, uh, it's like baboblins or bacoblins. Okay. I can't be expected to learn all their names. If you say so. racist that description was going to get. Uh, I kept it. I kept you it light. You did a good job. You did a good job. That's better than ghosts and those uh, zombie things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
too. It's such a cute little onesie that he's got. Do you want one of those? I absolutely do. That looks so comfy. Like, I love that the onesie covers his entire body, like, around his face. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Stardew Valley game, and mm. somebody quoted uh, Luxana Troy. What? Holder of the Sacred Chalice of Jeez, whatever. Really? Well, they, they end just before that. They're, they're listing all their titles, and then the last one is Holder of the Sacred Chalice of and then something like, well, you get the idea. Well, that is an obscure reference I was not expecting. Ooh, it's, a, well, it's, it's fine. I have four fairies. It's... I'm going to use them all in this fight. Good job. Uh, which creatures? Um, the skeletons? The skeletons are from the um, temple temple? Earth temple. Earth temple. Yeah. The one that you do with uh, Medley the bird. Yeah. All the all the haunting stuff is kind of from that one. Mm -hmm. I find that one a lot more interesting than the Wind Temple. The Wind Temple is more challenging, but I find that temple just uh, designed to be a lot more clever. I guess I like the atmosphere of the um, uh, of the Wind Temple. I find it a little too similar to the uh, uh, the Forest Temple. Mm, yeah, that's true. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was quick. Oh yeah, the big uh, skeleton guys, um, yeah, I think are from the Earth Temple. The reason that was so quick, you know you can do the uh, spin attack without charging if you oh. do a 360 on the... Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. That's nice. Wait, how do you do that? You, you spin on the joystick? Yeah, you just do a 360 and then hit attack. Pretty good. So you don't have to like wait for it to do this business. Whoa! Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Press my luck with that one. So I feel like we've moved away from um, temple enemies. These are just, uh, this is just, just yeah, randoms. A lot of
Ooh, oh boy, there's a lot of carnage here. Mm hmm. Who's right? Maybe in the 40s now? 30s or 40s? I haven't been keeping track. I have no idea. Should have counted. <laughs> uh, uh, if you hit it, hit it again and see if it'll go away. Oh my god. I think this dungeon, or whatever you want to call this, was definitely different in the original. I think so. Yeah, I don't remember this. Just a lot of everyone's. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it was like this in the original. I, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure, because I, I mean, I was reading up on the things they changed. I don't recall them mentioning this one. Follow my nose to the grave. Take one of their sticks, set it on fire, throw it at another one. I mean, you could definitely set one of the sticks on fire and throw it. I just don't know that it's a more efficient way than just stabbing them. Really yep. <laughs> yep. Catching his name on the wall. He's the smartest one. No part of this. Did you get more hearts if you use the fairy manually? I think it just fills you... Doesn't it fill you up all the way? I thought they fill you I up think, all the way. I don't think it does fill you all the way. Okay. Oh. Well, I mean, you've got four of them, so... Let's test that. Oh, yeah. Hello, my dear. Yes. You're free! Finally! Free to end your life for my sake. Oh, no, it doesn't okay. fill you up all the way. Almost. Almost. You're pretty good. Yeah, uh, okay. What item did I want? I have bow and arrow, hammer, bombs, and sure, shot. Why not? There's just a trampoline set up underneath Ugh. you for this one. Oh boy. Uh, okay. I'm trying Bomb. to think of just the best way to go about it. Um,. Yeah, stun them for a second. Do your screechy screechy. Oh, it stuns them. Lovely. Okay. What? Oh. oh, he took it back from you. That probably was not supposed to happen like that, but it was creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh well. It's such a long animation for such a yeah. tiny amount of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Very good. You enjoyed yourself. Yep, yep, yep. And the long one? Three. Twice it's four. <laughs> it's a nice count. Spin. I want them to, to hit each other with a spin. It's possible. Yeah, you gotta throw it and then lure them back through it. Well, we got two going on. I think there, that's so. gonna hit it. I think the oh, I think the only effective way to do that is, is to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
They do sound like little zombie, zombie elephants. elephants. That's the name of my metal band. Skinny zombie elephants? Skinny zombie elephants. James earlier today was uh, suggesting that I form a metal band. What was the title? Oh, I don't think you came up with that. But just because of uh, you were saying my like, beard. Well, because you could, yeah, there's all, there's all sorts of uh, metal things you could do with it. I'm going to the barber tomorrow. Are you? I've seen Zach. We'll see what he does to my face. I think I'm not completely changed. There we go. That's hard to tell, but I've got two little prongs now. Is this what metal does? Uh, I don't know. Listening to a death metal rescue person? I love when you get a whole bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> Very confused. Just a moment. Do you have suggestions for my beard? Are there things you want to see in my beard? In my beard? No, <laughs> Which my beard. Tidy it up and it look just fine. Thank you. Atomic Baum and the Fallout Fairies. Ooh, Very nice. I like that. Were your parents ever tempted to name you or your brother Adam? Adam uh, Bond? No, because I think they were sick of those jokes. Yeah. 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 Are they aware of jokes? <laughs> They've heard of them. No, they're aware of jokes from like, um, in the context of like Sergeant Bilko or Car 54 World. Yet their son didn't know the two of cars. No, no, I don't think they've ever actually watched a car before. I've only just seen the theme song, which is very catchy. It is good. Yeah. It's got Khrushchev in it, doesn't it? It does. It's Khrushchev. the only theme song to mention Khrushchev. We don't know that. Well, that's true. The original Charles in Charge theme song was very strange. <laughs> We didn't know what Charles was in charge of. Of <laughs> Russia. Yeah. He was in charge of the nuclear arsenal. <laughs> Charles in charge. Yeah, the Nora <laughs> and NAFTA. I don't know. I don't What's the, not, what is the uh, thing we're a part of? The the defense. Yeah. Club. You want the defense club? Yeah. You get like stamped every time you get a hamburger. There's NORAD, but what's the thing? <sighs> North. The, the, the men of the north. Yep, um, yep, that's it. It's a tribe of men who make hamburgers, and every time you get a little stamp, well, I can't remember. and then it's you get a Norad. crown it's on your birthday. NAFTA. It's the thing, there was the Soviet Union, and they were bad, and then there was the other group. There's like OPEC, and there's Spectre, and then there's... You uh, know what I'm talking about. I don't about. know, I don't know. M M5? M no, it's real, though. The <laughs> oh, oh, it's real. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why can't I remember this? The thing that America and Europe and some other countries, it was formed during the Cold War. I don't know. I guess I don't know my you history do, very well. You do know, because it's like okay. something everybody knows. Except you, apparently. Okay, I just can't <laughs> this remember looks perilous. The, yeah. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Well, all right, I guess. <laughs> but careful, because I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's funny. It's acceptable losses of hearts. <laughs> They're just swinging and blowing themselves. Oh, right. Oh, sure. I would be doing this very delicately. Sets them off a lot faster. It sets them off instantly instead of uh, triggering a fuse. Mm. That's because I mean, if you shot it with an arrow, presumably you, you wanted want it, it to, to go, go off. Sure. Uh, whereas you could just bonk it with your sword by accident. <laughs> yeah, hard to know which one to target. What's closest? Yep. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I know. I shouldn't, yeah. I shouldn't just be in the middle like that. But it's also kind of. This might be in the middle. Oh no, because they're going to be moving around so much. A bomb could be effective, but the, the flame is going across the screen. Yeah, is the biggest problem right now. I think it's kind of the statues on the walls? Oh. Yeah. So I didn't tell you about my dreams. Let's I not. I had a bunch of dreams. I know, and I have no interest in any of them. Even if I wasn't doing this. I jumped at the next. Great. Tell your therapist. <laughs> oh, when their helmets are off, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it does, but it, it, but not very much. Ow. Oh, you can't carry when they don't have weapons or something. They're, um, I just got kicked in the shoes of Is it? Yeah, they just kind of stand there and jerk their head around. They don't have the, uh, I mean, we compare that to the Moblins, who have that weird butt, you just slap my butt animation. Sure. With the bad dog. Well, you tell oh. me what to call him. Oh, Look at him. oh he's... Yeah, he's low on hearts. Yeah. Yeah. My world! What did I have in there? Is it bomb? Yeah, sure. I think so. <laughs> oh, the sound of the fire right before you left. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, I guess I didn't need that fairy after all. <laughs> oh well. It's gonna be a chicken at last. You're gonna get a chicken. That's a chicken. That's a chicken. Chicken. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this prize. I don't think it was here before, though. I think you're right about that. <coughs> Where is that? Um, it's definitely something. Oh, it's just a massive thing. Yeah. Or and now oh, no. Yeah. There we go. I don't like it. Huh. I don't like how it looks, but uh, it will make things a little easier when you're fighting enemies, I guess. Okay. It just gives you information, which okay. I don't oppose information. Sure. It's like having a it's like having a nutrition uh, information on your enemies. How many calories do you think are in a moblin? Oh, too many. I gotta lay off. <laughs> It'll go straight to my thighs. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I had to fly or if I could have just hook shotted. Oh, yeah. You, eh, I think you probably have to fly. I don't know if there's a good vantage point. Flop, <laughs> girl. All right. Um, didn't you have some business out with that giant pig? Yeah, one thing at a time. No, everything all at the same time. You just want to get to the pig I as just, soon as I possible. I really want to get to the pig. I just like pigs. I do want that, yes. Thank you. Oh, every time we have this interaction with her, it reminds me how much I like seafood chowder. You know, she never said it was seafood chowder. I think look, they live on an island. What is it? Is, do you think it's pig, or do you think it's like human? Is she is she like chopping up the neighbors? Is that why you only have so few neighbors? I mean, it could be. Just Mrs. Like, Lovett. No. Oh, Grandma it, Lovett, thank you for the soup. What's your special ingredient? I'll never tell. It could just be like tomato soup. It doesn't have to. It could have, be like, vegetarian. There's no reason why it has to have flesh. Mm. You've. Oh, I should give this guy the belts, right? I don't think I ever gave him belts. Do you have enough? I don't know. Find we'll out. Find out. Those are the necklaces, oh. but Whoops. he might be like, yeah, very nice. I'm taking this out of here won't do anything. Who wants necklaces? I don't remember. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
It's crest. It's really good toothpaste. Hmm. Ooh, what is your new sword technique? Oh, is this the crazy spin? Oh, yes. Blah, 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 blah. I like that his spooky ancient mask has a smile. Mm. Come at me, bro. Oh, sorry. All right, all right. There we go. <laughs> his eyes get really wide. Amazing. Oh, yep. that animation is so good. <laughs> Oh, oh, what? No. Oh, this is Aww. troubling. He grew a mustache out of his eyes. Ugh. Leaky mustache. Mm -hmm. He'll dream come true. Oh, made an old man happy. Mm -hmm. Me. <laughs> right <laughs> long ago. Oh, you can't spare, spare the, the moisture. moisture. <laughs> yes. I already did save her. Bring her <laughs> okay. Good job. Let's suppose that X in the fish means you can vomit? Uh, uh no, no it's, it's, it's where you you learn to do the roll into things okay. trick. Oh god, no. Oh, you don't want me to do this? Well, maybe, I got up maybe. to like Let's 300 see. before. I'm okay. not sure he actually is gonna get me anymore. You definitely do not need to get through him. Well, let's see how far you can go. Sure. 500. Okay. <sighs> uh, this is going to be horrible for people to watch. Yeah. Uh, like, it's not that difficult. It's just gonna, gonna take be... forever. I think. It'll take probably about five minutes. Okay. Uh, should I do it? I mean, you're this far. Ooh, yeah, well, well, maybe not. <laughs> there was a. I, I recall, like, when I did this the first time, yeah. I got so effing close. I was, yeah. like, at 490. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then it was all over. I don't suppose when you parry it counts as double or anything. Mm -mm. Mm. No, you just block. I mean, parrying isn't isn't worth it because it leaves you open. You, know, you just when he when he blocks, you block. Oh, okay. I mean, it's incredibly tedious because like there's really nothing to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's one of these in every Zelda, right? Mm. Yeah, someone just left the chat. Uh, I definitely remember there being something like this in one of the uh, in Skyward Sword. There's something like this. Oh, uh, Balls Bamboo, I think. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah. It's, can you just leave? Maybe. <laughs> I'm out of here, old yep. man. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This stinks. <laughs> That's great. I thought he, I'd have to get the three hits. You think he'd be like, wait, come back. Come back, little man. All right. So what was your situation with the pig you wanted monsters in my period of time no, yeah, that's fine. um i can't remember but like the guy was like oh you should lift the pig oh up. that's right because you needed the strength to lift him yeah but i don't know what you actually do with him once you lift him up uh you give him bait and he digs up treasure oh so you follow him around i think oh, or maybe you carry like him troubles. well yeah i think that's the idea you wait for him to sniff oh, something. He's excited. Is he? I don't know, it's just... He did do a little strut. He seems to be excited in that area. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> hey, Pig, do you, need, do, you like the, do you like this belt? Do you like this accessory? No, oh, he's freaking out. He is. I think, the, I think the AI might not like this. Well, I can't put out any more bait until something happens with this, it seems like. Oh, no. Alright. Huh. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing! Okay. okay, well, that was fun. He's still scrambling around over there. I don't know... No, if that means there's something there, or it's just like he's scrambling around. 
Well, he doesn't seem... He's doing a sniff. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This is how I get when I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, he seems to have lost interest. Oh. oh. I think he... I think, oh, you know what? It's probably down below. <laughs> you could, or no. 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 <laughs> it's not down I below. I think you might just be throwing the bait too close to the fence. Well, maybe. I'm just locking onto him and throwing it. Kind of letting the, the chips fall where they may. I wonder if you have to throw the bait when he's... Nope, there we go. <laughs> mm, all right. All right. I mean, it's neat. It's yeah. Not... <laughs> oh, oh, it's this. Oh, chum, 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 chum. He's so happy he's gonna tunnel underground. That's also what I think. Yeah, are you okay. just are you just saying that you're hungry? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I am. Um, maybe that's unconsciously I'm thinking about you keep food it, now. Yeah, you keep bringing it up. Um, I think that's probably okay. Uh, unless there's like one particular place with a heart container or something. Boy, that is a, that would be a grueling, yeah. grueling quest to go on. Well, I mean, just unless there's something everywhere. indicated, like you know, on the ground, like a yeah. circle that clearly means something special is supposed to happen. I have not seen the indicator. That is... Ooh. It's a pot somewhere far, far away. Huh. That's not where the head was. No, no, the head was up there. Ooh. Oh, hi. Warping over to the pot, I, I mean, uh, warping over. Like floating over to where the head was and then falling off the back of the... Well, I'm just wondering how... Like, oh, no, no, no. To you what can, end. Okay. I see how to get there. Mm, yeah. Actually, maybe... Oh, no, no, no. You can just... Yeah, actually, you can just get across there pretty easily. <laughs> I know what that is. You can get there like at the beginning of the game. If you're doing your side eye. Keep cutting these shrubs and they keep coming back. It's a bit like um little little, little, little Animal Crossing, or you know, you have the shrubs in Animal Crossing. Uh well I guess, except you're destroying them. Yeah. The reverse. I see. Oh, is this uh, canonically a, a sequel to Animal, Animal Crossing? Crossing? Do you think this is in the same universe? It's a dystopian future. My neighbor Mitzi's here somewhere. Oh, I know. Can't stop talking about that Mitzi. Yep. Mitzi Gaynor. Yep. That's her. Who is Mitzi Gaynor? Why do I know that name? I don't know. Is she related to Gloria Gaynor? Are you kidding me? Is there anything else? <laughs> nope, I don't think it. so. That's okay, okay, still nice to explore. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh the wind's going against <laughs> me. Wow. Okay, so how many try to force pieces? One, two, three. That's not many. No, well, you got some to dig out of the ocean, and, um, not many. Oh, okay, I know where one is. That diamond something island. Do you need to do a little warpy warp? Uh, well, sure, but first I have to identify where it is. Nope. <laughs> no, just, just warp, warp all randomly. Over the world. Just plop down. This James is, is flipping yeah. through all kinds of different uh, sections on the map right now, looking so at the unfortunately strange bodily shapes. Oh wait, here. I just want to know the names. It's what is it called? Diamond um, Island. It's Diamond something. Yeah. Let's see. Diamond here. Steps, I think. Diamond Step Island. A six. So that's the first column down, and yeah. six one, six one down. It's shaped like oh. diamond. Oh, oh, it's like right next to us. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's quick. Yeah. And yeah. the wind's mm, not quite pointing the right direction, but uh, sort of. Wind doesn't matter with the fast sail. Oh. Wind is always at your back. 
because that was some bullshit, having to stop and change the wind every time you wanted to slightly change direction. I wasn't able to fold the map back up. Well. In some ways, this oh, there it is. this okay. grand adventure um, has successfully modeled a, a road trip with you. <laughs> My inability to put maps away, uh, get grumpy when I don't have coffee. Mm -hmm. If it was a success, if it was a model of a road trip, I'd have my feet on a dashboard right now. But, oh, but I do have bad posture. I always have bad posture when driving for a long time. Sure. I need to keep my back straight. James observed that when I type, uh, I'm a horrible posture. I'm like hunched, like Mr. Burns. Um, so now I'm really self-conscious about it and trying to fix it, but it's, it's hard. I need to be strapped into the chair or something to prevent me from hunching. This may not be. I'm about to crash into it. That's fine. Um, so, according to this, I could have sworn there was a Triforce piece here. But, according to Tingle's handy dandy chart, it looks like there isn't. So maybe this has changed. Well, have you been here yet? I... No, because it okay. requires the hookshot. Yeah. And I think I'll get a close enough for you. Yeah, that might be too. Oh, it's peachy sky. I know. This is lovely. Look at how I go with this. Is. This is where I want to build up for them. Right here. This it's is where I had a cabana a place to live. Now, yeah, but we need to build a new one. Right. Link already owns the other one. It's got that creepy butler. I don't like the butler. What? How could you I'm not, not like the butler? The butler. I want a, a, a young houseboy like Hank Azaria. Ooh. Hank Azaria is not a young houseboy. Not anymore. I remember this. This You have to go from pot to pot. Uh, yes, and light yeah. some arrows. Yeah. Or was it just lighting... Lighting torches, torches with okay. flaming arrows. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be able to keep this straight. <laughs> Both going to get so yeah. lost. Oh, good. Oh, he's yeah. so good. Yeah. Yeah. I do love how they pick up things from the very nice touch. It's fine. I mean, I was never like, oh, how much health did the enemies have left? But. I tried a hookshot? Huh. Weird. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, maybe I just have to burn it. Uh, that's right. Burning fills, quality. Oh, they're slightly different price. color. Yeah, the, the pots, or at least the smoke's slightly different color. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's a clue. All right. Now, where do you have any arrows? I mean, do you have any torches within sight? I don't see any. Uh, I don't either at the moment. No, they're really not different color, are they? Yeah. Anything happened to these boats? Yep. It's like they went through like a some sort of time portal or something <laughs> and they came out in the wrong order. What's strange to me is this, to me, feels more like a ghost ship. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's sort of a ship graveyard, but uh, but the ghost ship itself doesn't feel like most of a ghost ship. So you uh, much of a ghost ship. So you saw a unlit I thought torch. I did. Yeah, up here. But I might be wrong about that. No, it's it's there. Okay. Maybe he stuff. really wants you. Oh. 
so I haven't seen any unlit torches, and I'm wondering if this is another thing that they've changed. Maybe. Although that was not really ever a problem for me, the lighting of the torches. Man, there's your treasure chest. This isn't the treasure chest, is it? just a treasure chest. Well, I don't know, maybe it is. Could be. Let's see what you get. It'd be amazing if I went through the pots in the right order, but... No. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, that was easier. Oh, and look, there's a I little remember. shortcut down to the. Uh, yeah. Down to the start. I guess. I mean, look around, but I don't see any unlit. I see. Yeah. I don't either. I wonder if they simplified this in some way. Hmm. I mean, I'm not annoyed about that, but uh, huh. that was never really a pain point oh, for me. No. No. There's well, a catapult over there, but that's not something you need to worry about. No, I was just wondering if there's maybe another treasure chest that might have a heart container, but I'm not seeing I don't see anything. anything. Okay. Well, <laughs> goodbye. Easy, easy. Okay, I'm gonna find that ghost ship. Sure. I'm gonna save it uh, yeah. again. What is that map look like? Uh, oh, it should show phases of the moon and then what island the uh, ghost ship is near at that phase. Right. Ghost ship charts. Oh my, yeah. it's a very pretty map. That is, is that is art that I would... Oh, and it even shows you what phase of the moon is the one coming up. Oh, nice. And so that's some sort of five pimple island. <laughs> yeah, go to five pimple island. Kind of makes a letter M. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not going to chase the ghost ship just yet because no, there is a, a allegedly another Triforce map is one square north of us. Yeah. Mm. If Tingle is to be believed, who wouldn't trust Tingle? <laughs> you don't need rupees. I do want arrows, but they, I guess they're getting replenished pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, they got Did not need to be that on fire. That was over again. But I got some jelly. That's what matters. Oh, God. Hmm? This is a brutal fall. Is huh. I don't know. It looks like one of those places where the, uh... Well, macro plant something. Yeah. Well, um, you know, there are the Kokiri all over the, the world. Yeah, I wonder if there's maybe some later yeah. well, puzzle that involves... I think they should is. already... They should already be on the islands. I'm not sure. If you go back and force... Hey, no, I've run into them. Oh, okay. They're, they're already on the islands. Okay. They're supposed to be on. Now, there is some puzzle where they're like... The Kokiri tell you, oh, you have to do this task force within a certain amount of time. Yes, you have to get water from Forest Haven, oh, right. and then you can't uh, fast travel. You have to actually deliver it in real time. Yep. Which, with the f fast sail, is probably easy. Mm. Unless they took that into account and just shortened the amount of time you have. Or your fast sail gets eaten by rats. But That would be very disappointing. It would. Oh, is it on the... Oh, yes, this one. This one looks like the um, Temple of the Gods from far away, but isn't. Right. Right, right, right. Oh, but there may actually be... There's a treasure over there. It's smuggling. There's a point in there. I think it might be on the other side. Oh, there we go. Is this going to be a trackers? Maybe? Hmm? I forgot we were here to actually do island stuff. Mm. Link's just so excited he jumped out of the boat. Link overboard. <laughs> like the bird when it sees you is like, what? What? You think that's the translation? I think that's it. 
surveying what's around here before I go down the hole. See, there's one of those good yeah. yeah. Hey, it's just gonna hang out. Oh, that's right, with those sad, sick trees. Mm -hmm. Interesting. There's barrels with pots that sink down when you get close. Mm -hmm. We'll deal with all that later. Oh! oh. oh. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh. Yep. Oof. Yes! Yes! Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That. That's right. Okay. So there's one up there. Mm -hmm. Bit of an arc. Oh. So you gotta kind of undershoot it. Yeah, it's hitting it. the. Uh, yeah. It's called the trampoline. It's not a trampoline. The catapult. There's one right there. It's a tough shot. Oh. Uh, wow. What? That one did not yeah. go where I was expecting. Was that? Oh, and then one up there? I think that's. Might I think be. that'll be the last one. Yeah. Hmm. Boy, yeah, they go uh, a lot higher than I thought. Yay! Yay! Nice job. Yes! Oh, I all your antique pots. Yes. I was an archer at the Ren Fair. I've never been to a Ren Fair. Have you been to a Ren Fair? I don't think I have, no. Is anybody viewing this thing been to a Ren Fair? Yeah, viewers, what are Ren Fairs like? Have you ever been to one? Wait, why was that just rupees? I thought that was supposed to be... A thing. What does the sign say? It said something... I thought it said something about the ghost ship. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Yeah, so do that. Yeah. Then dive down to the sea floor. Dive down. Yeah, I think there might be something else on this island you have to do. Oh, okay. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You're playing with your fingers. What are you doing? Dive down to the... Oh, I guess this must lead to the seafloor. Maybe. Try... No, this just leads down to the middle of the thing, but... Um... Well, sure, but why is there a ramp here going down to the middle of the thing? I think you have to do something else. So oh. try setting, uh, try breaking those pots that pop up. Yeah. That does not need to be fancy arrows. Oops. Hmm. What? That's weird. There you go. Mm, I don't know. I guess try getting those barrels. Oh. You. Ooh, or maybe there's a switch on top of that thing in the middle? Oh, maybe. Uh, do I need a seagull? Yeah, I, don't, I, need a seagull. I don't have any seagull pairs. Oh. We were hanging out in your beetle before. I know, I should always have a seagull pair. I wonder, this guy's not going to tell me anything I don't know. He's just going to be like, oh, my tree, my tree. Can you set that on, on ice? Uh, no. I, well, I'll try, but I think it's one of the... Yeah, unlock something and the fire goes out. Yeah. But maybe. It's worth a shot before I do a million other things. <laughs> no, it's just burning ice now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just be like, woe is my tree. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, your poor little tree. Oh, I see, you've left the chat room. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I hope we're not More disconnected. Excellent Twitch reporting. Mm. Uh, hopefully, we didn't disconnect. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, I think uh, you may need a seagull thing. Well, do you have a beetle chunk? Yeah, I do. He's never that far away. No, I just. It's just kind of. Rather he be yeah. right there. Okay. Yep. Well, I hope North the east. seagull is the solution. Yeah, uh, <laughs> if not, it's uh, uh, curtains for me. <laughs> I'm curious, because the um, tingle chart indicated uh, Triforce, and then it had like a little pirate boat drawn next to it. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's going to be the case, but actually one of those boats is different, isn't it? Mm. It has a hat. It's going to a fancy, uh, fancy dress boat. It's true. Boat with a hat. Should be a cause for suspicion. <laughs> it, it always is, yeah. No, oh, wow. it's fine. It's fine. Down. Royal pirate. Oh. So I think that may be the chart. Um, yes, but uh, I'm still gonna try to get whatever's on Needle Rock Island. Even though I don't think we actually need to beat it. I, I thought that was northeast. I still don't think you're going northeast, but I'll. Uh, well, I don't understand how to read that compass then. Because that compass seems... Oh, of course I do. It's pointing north. Red points north. That's how to read that compass. I so of course you're going east. I don't look at that compass. I don't know. Really? How do you know which way you're going? Oh, you look at the map. Yeah. Also, I, just in real life, I don't look at compasses. I Really? I, I don't believe them. How do you figure out uh, which, which direction you're going in the woods? Look, we live on a flat earth, <laughs> and the compass is a lie. The it's a compass. vast, vast compass conspiracy. The compass is just a... Oh, look at this place. Yeah, it's a great fish island. What's so great about it? The, com the compass is there to perpetuate the idea of there being a magnetic north and a round earth. It's just a sorcerer's trick. <laughs> it's like the first spell you learn, is to make a needle point north. <laughs> Not a very impressive magic school. He is not selling what I want. Oh! Bye! Bye. Have you gone to Super Beetle? Yes, and I've bought all his things. Okay. Yep! Well, uh, maybe that's something for another time then. Oh, there's ah. the merchant. Okay, we can trade with him, I suppose. Oh, got something for yeah. He's not wearing any pants. No, <laughs> he's got something for me. <laughs> no. Uh, wild and woolly. Ta-da! A thing. No. Yes. Don't have one of those yet. Fair enough. No pants, but sneakers. No. You've been in that outfit. <laughs> that's my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite ensemble. Yeah. 
Yeah, is there anything to explore in this island? Oh, there is, and you can't really do it until you have the hook shot. I forget. Oh, there's a cave over there. Oh. But you gotta get up from the first first time you arrive here. Huh. Uh, there's no way to get up onto any of these sure. things. I think it's that true. Maybe not. Oh, there's another tree up there. Yeah, but I'm not sure if you can see it. <laughs> Find out. Or we'll drown. <laughs> But it's not. Like, well, no, just point I, I fell in the water, so let's try it without doing that. Huh. Is that range? Or is it just not? It seemed out of range. Look at the actual constellation this guy. Oh yeah, there are there are constellations. And I believe they correspond to some of the islands that look like dots. Yeah. yeah I thought of everything. I'm not selling that thing. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I might make it to the barrel, I might not. Oh, if so, it's like a quarter of a heart. I don't know why I'm so obsessed. It's death. It's not death. It's, uh, it's just a change in state. I guess. A change no one, in stake, you no say? One, oh boy. No one really dies. They just become another person. Yeah. Oh, I guess I can't climb on that. Uh, I think you can hop off the boat onto it. Ah. You can do a barrel roll? Kind of. Or can I just get this from here? Hmm. Ooh, hello. I didn't mean to come at the camera like that. <laughs> Okay, so that is not a thing to hook onto. How about that other tree? Also, be on the lookout for like bullseye looking things. Mm -hmm. Oh, there actually looks like there's one on the very, the highest one. Okay. That you, you can't see it from here. All right, well, loop around. No, well, I could be wrong, but it looks like. Hmm. Oh, what about that one to the left? To the left? Uh, the tree? It's too far away, yeah. Hmm. The spiral is very oh. inviting. Yes. Oh, I bet you can hook shot from there. Probably. Let's find out. Put your sail away. I'm rolling to the <laughs> bumped my little head, looked out over the island. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, no, the tree is dead. Now, you definitely can't hookshot from here, it's too far away, but maybe you can. I'm able to leaf. Yeah. What is that thing? Oh, it's a defense post or something? Mm. Maybe you can leaf onto one of those. Maybe. A lot of mysterious islands now, now that we're mm. done with the sort of linear temples until the end. Which means we're going to be doing a lot of stumbling. Yep. Saying, what? What the hell are we supposed to do now? Okay, this looks right. Maybe. Invisible collision? Nope. No. Okay. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Are you good? Mm. Now can you leaf over to some oh. other island? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. And then leaf over to that treasure chest. 
Can I? Well, you might need to change the wind, but... Perhaps. so good at this. We will solve the riddle of the wind. Ooh. And that's the fourth piece. You get a new heart. It's true. I, I need one. I, I, I I'm an emotionless... <laughs> oh, oh dear. Where's my boat? Oh, your boat's gone. Oh well. No, wait, wait, wait. By the, by the spiral. By the spiral. Yeah. Hopefully I can swim over to it. If uh, if you ever leave your boat too far away, it just, when you drown, uh, you uh -huh. respawn by nice. it. So, yeah. But I don't, I don't care. know. Yeah, maybe that's it. I could have sworn there was stuff that you hook shot to, but there's maybe that was another... just a there there's definitely an island where you do that. Okay. It may have just been a false theory that I developed the first time I played and never disabused myself of. Alright, let me where are you going? That's a good question. So we have one more Triforce chart for Tingle to check out. And Tingle Island is, like, right over there. So let's just go to Tingle. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> Good job. And we're off! And away we go. Tingle. It's irritating. When you touch the map, mm -hmm. it puts this big block over the map so you can't mm. read. You need a third screen. We just, like, uh, this is an apple -y thing to do. But they should have just made it, like, tap and hold to bring up uh, the yeah, thing yeah. instead of, uh, on a single tap, obscure the whole screen. Kids would not know how to tap and hold, though. Uh, good luck trying to tutorialize that. be the final Triforce chart. There's only three now. Watch out for twisters. These ones just kind of pop you into the air for a second. Oh! <laughs> it's trying to give you a little nudge. Yeah. It's fine. Oh. Well, just, this seems like it's... A thing. Yeah. yeah. But it's not. Or is it? I don't know. That's weird. Does it represent the, I don't know, the five is tingles? Is there an island with that shape? Maybe. I've been longing to have some dialogue with you. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got steep. Oh, how much was it? I wasn't even looking. 400 rupees. Oh, whatever. I was gonna spend that on birthday cake. Yep. At this point, there really isn't much for me to spend yeah. rupees on. Early in the game, you're so rupee constrained yeah. because of the wallet, and then, like, midway through, they're really not an issue anymore. Now, you do need to do some... I mean, you don't have to, but you can buy a lot of flowers and put them all over your uh, outside. No, windfall. That's true. That's true, you can do that. I... 
going to do that, but it's a thing that can be done. I like to put flowers in places. All right. Do you want to do that? I do. I want to chop single tingles, single song. Some single tingles? That's, um, when, when every tingle puts out an album. Yeah. Sure a tingle you know. single. A tingle single. Got a notification that I'm missing a kaleidoscope. Ah. Uh, he thinks Link's a fairy because he himself uh, thinks that he is a fairy. And I think that, if I remember correctly, in Ocarina of Time, um, Link was part of a sort of tribe of, not fairy children, but kind fairy of descendants? spirits of the forest. Um, or at least he thought he was. Uh, and then it turned out that he wasn't. He was a human. He was adopted by them. Uh, and then he grows up, and their deal is that they, uh, they never grow up, so they don't recognize him when he's an adult. Oh! Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Um... It's kind of a troubling storyline. They also, uh, those fairy kids are the ones who evolve into the plant people in this game. Because this is, uh, a water world future post-apocalypse of the Ocarina of Time world. But cute. <laughs> it's a cute apocalypse. It is. It's a very cute apocalypse. An apocalypse. Yeah. So close to those octorocks. Octorocks? Octopuses? Octopoids? Um, I don't know what to call them. Octopussy. So many charts now. I'm yeah. just trying to cycle through them back to the one where the. Here we go. Okay. We've got almost all of the shards. Uh, oh, no. Tingle, see if he's got a. Uh, I'm in a beetle. I'm in a chair. Pears? The one at outset always has pears, I think, so. At some point, we'll obtain a pair. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. pears. Huh. Bye. He's so sad when you just turn around and leave. I know. Yep! I like the, uh, the beetle in Skyward Sword, uh, keeps his shop afloat by oh, right. killing it, and, yes. uh, if you don't buy anything, he drops you through a trapdoor. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, the deal with Tingle is Tingle wants- Tingle is a middle-aged man who wants to be a fairy, and, uh, in Majora's Mask, you can meet his dad. Uh, yeah, the Great Tree is in uh, Ocarina of Time. It's um, It looks a little bit different, but it's actually the first dungeon is you crawl into its mouth and you have to get cleared of demons, essentially. The tree is always infested with something. It's true. Allegedly, there's a shard over here. Okay, I see. To a storm. Batten down the hatches. <laughs> oh, my batches have been happening. Yep. I mean, my hattens have been batched? Wait, what do I mean? Yeah, I don't know what you mean. It is like a cavity creep. Uh, yes! Yes. <laughs> what that was in reference to at first. It's in reference to you battening down your hatches. Mm. Hatches. Not enough battens. Sure. No, oh, this has obscured the audio. <laughs> Not the right item. Okay, tingle map, go away, please. They've got some. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, they need to be bombed, don't they? This way for you. I guess just I just don't, I don't know. I what I need to do really is move, but I don't want to because I'm place for the treasure. It's it's overshooting, so I need to move. Just 
see like this is a close second. Okay. Did you see where they yeah, yeah. I mean it seemed like you were able to point down, but I guess they were just bombing them on it. Because they bombed them. Oh, I see. I see. So you could wait until they leave that. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I just don't want to move and have to find the treasure again. Right. Yeah. I <laughs> had so many hearts. What? What is that? Oh, goodbye. What? Oh. Um, oh no, are you kidding me? This is just a regular to, one. Yeah, but it went into combat and made you drop it. That's where it's fine. Why are there so many enemies here? Also, why is these bombs just going through? Jeez. Oh, um, what? Did it move me? Oh. oh. That sounds about right. There you go. Wow. Oh. <laughs> this whole sequence has been very strange. Well, okay, you got the shard, but what sure. was that octopus that pod. thing? Yeah, I don't know. I, I've never seen one of those before, so... No. Wait, the, the octopus? No, 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 the pot that you pulled up. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could sail away and see if there's another... Uh, I can't sail away that way. Another treasure light appears over there. No. It's so weird. Hey guys. Uh, this seems like a place where you need to hookshot something. Maybe. Oh, or maybe not. You can just climb up there. Yeah. Oh. Every, see, every time I see a, 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 a post box, mm -hmm. I hope that you're going to be getting something related to that um, little story with the girl who fell in love with the moblin. Mm -hmm. But so far, nothing. I've already done this since the hole is open. I think this is one that was covered with something, but we'll yeah, find out. Oh yeah, I did this one. Right. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. But there's definitely a. Oh, but you got the. Track we got the triforce shard. Okay. okay. So there's one shard on the ghost ship. Mm -hmm. There's one shard in a distant, the furthest possible square. And there's one a little bit closest. Uh, what do you mean? It's not the furthest. Well, the, up in the corner there. Yeah. And there's one kind of next to, in a, in, a, in a cluster of other five forces. Yeah. Okay. That does seem to be the case. Um, I don't know. Do you think? I can't believe I never noticed those before. <laughs> oh, this no. beetle might have pears. Pears, my darling? <laughs> Not if you talk to me like that. What? That's how he likes to be talked to. Look so at him angry. on there. No, he's determined to no. sell you a pear. I mean, it's false advertising at the other beetles, because they all have pears on the side of the boat. <gasps> there, finally. Maybe get a couple. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't need bait anymore because I've talked to all the fish. And the pig is... Thank you! The pig is not helpful. Yeah. 
Although it'd be pretty great if you take the pig with you on the boat and just drop him off to different <laughs> islands. I brought you a giant pig. Yeah. That's, um, isn't that how the dodo disappeared? Wasn't it giant pigs? Giant pigs? No, 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 no. It was, um, it wasn't pigs. It was like cats and rats and things. Oh, okay. That I believe. Oh, brought to Madagascar? Was it? Madagascar? I don't remember. Uh, everything lived on Madagascar, right? It was that... one of everything. Because there's that movie, Madagascar. Yes, with... about the dodo. And a... Well, they're... they're sassy penguins. They're kind of like in a heist movie. Thank you! That's right. Oh, boy. Hmm? You get 60 or something? Thank you! Uh, well, I can't, actually. I mean, like, so much of his stuff you fill up on right. really fast. This may be the last... <laughs> nice, nice dramatic exit there. He must, uh, he must be very lonely on that boat. That look he gives you when you leave, even if you do Why? buy things. He just kind of looks down at his genitals, sadly. I know that feeling. You know what he's gonna get up to as soon as you leave, and he's not proud of it. Gotta put something in those jars. No. Oh. Now you've... Now you've done it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so yes, that's the one I'm heading towards. That is the one I'm heading towards. I don't remember this one. I don't mm -hmm. think I, I haven't seen you come to this island. What? This, this I think, is one of those hookshot ones. Because you came to this island previously yes. just to map it, but... Oh, yes, oh, yes. something glowing. Don't think that's going to be the Triforce, but maybe. They have simplified this. Oh, I might have overshot it. Yeah, other side. Yeah, I think we got it. Okay. Meow. Okay. Yeah. Sure, okay. Well, that's fun. Uh, hmm? Nicely done. Some nautical mastermind. <laughs> that's just what you are. Uh, I take a lot of bats. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's why you've become such a good shot. <laughs> what are you doing in there? You're throwing bombs into the bathtub? In a manner of speaking. Oh dear. Just making sure there's nobody who's gonna bomb me while I try to ascend. I think that's it. Just yeah, I think that's two. it. Okay. And where do I hook to? Past it. Okay. Can I just hop out and walk to it, or do I have to boat? I might be able to walk to it. Let's see. To your right. Oh, sorry, you are. Left? Yeah, that way. Okay. There you go. Oh, to the tree uh, tree? Alright, boat would have been For you. I got it. Nope. I didn't think you did. I never leave without my jelly. It's <laughs> <laughs> very nervous you're about to fall off there. Oh, very nice. I don't know if you can hookshot, yeah, up to that upper one. Yeah. Let's see what's up there. Just a little present. Yeah. You have to sense these are probably to replenish or something? Well, whatever. I guess. You used up all your magic on something. Yeah. Look at this. 
this. This is Oh, fancy. I think I know what this is. Oh, maybe I don't. Uh. Oh. I think this is a maze. Uh. <laughs> oh, or maybe not. Maybe it's just another combat thing. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wrong button. Does this change your mind? <laughs> Can I interest you? I need it on the other button. There's so many weird enemies in here. <laughs> I'm very, what are you all doing here? Oh, oh, I see. It's one more. Generation. It's a summer. Yeah. Oh, oops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just <laughs> bribery. Can I interest you in an exotic flower, my good man? You just kind of shake his hand a little bit and slide the flower in. Do uh Link does fall back on violence for most of his interactions. Yeah, honestly, the bribe is probably uh, more ethical. Sure. In some respects. Okay, so if this is just a bunch of little combats, I feel better about it than some stupid maze. Yes, okay. So, what's behind door number two? Uh... Okay. No problemo. I love how it's so closed now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, you guys, I'm just gonna do something really fun. Ruin it. Ruin everything. We'll take a pen with that. I'm gonna do that. I can do my spin attack. They need to take some murder lessons to learn how to be murdered. <laughs> Do you think that's what Ganon's HR does? <laughs> now we're gonna have a uh, murdering seminar this week. Yes. Uh, murder preparedness. Sure murder preparedness. Assume the murder <laughs> position. to kill them. Sure. I could have sworn there was something in here about the killers. Maybe. Yeah. What, what, what were you Skip thinking? Are <laughs> trying to use their spin against them. Yeah. Although it prevented me from getting dizzy because they uh, knocked me out of it. So that's good. Ones where like you have to go through the doors in the right order. Yeah, yeah or it resets you back to the beginning. I don't approve. 
or you have to do it within a certain amount of time. No, oh, oh. These guys do not worry me. He's Triforce. I'm like, what are we even here for? No. Just wandered into their home to harass and murder them? Well, that's often what these rando islands are, but mm. in this rando case, they're Island. Island. Welcome. Beautiful rando island. They're dogs. They're, yeah. Dogs just protect stuff. That's what they do. Sure. They also pee on stuff. They do. Do you think... Oh, God. What do you think this place smells like? <laughs> Two cans, Toucans just generating uh, creatures. Oh, like, oh, boy. Another one. And only one bathroom. Mm. I've noticed the heads on top of the pillars. Grr. That's a nice touch. <laughs> How many Triforce pieces is that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. it looks like you got three left then. Yeah. One of them is Ghost Ship, uh, which leaves There's us two one. more just kind of yeah. accessible ones. And it's daytime. Yeah, I was in there a long like down there. time. Everyone he knew is an old man and he has a long beard. Like me. What if I go to see Zach tomorrow to give me a haircut and trim my beard? And I come back and it's just like a long white beard. Well, he'd be a really impressive so stylist. Yeah. He is very good. He just gave you uh, the Santa weave. <laughs> oh, my dream that I had bangs. That's some dream. All right, what what was the nature of this dream? I mean, that's about the extent of it. I went to a stylist, and he gave somebody hair that looked like a hedgehog, and he gave me bangs. I was so beside myself. What? With glee or misery? With glee! Oh. Are you be miserable to have hair again? I don't know. I mean, what kind of bang? Are we talking about, like, Mo from the Three Stooges bangs, or what? No, like... Justin Bieber? Like... Like... Um, what's his name in You Gotta Have Faith? George Michael? Yeah, like that. Like, it was really feathery. What? Yeah. It he looks also, so he good. He doesn't really have bangs. I don't, it's I don't like know kind what of... you call them. Okay. Well, so it was like that, but like, he had that, but it was also like bangs on top of my head. So I had bangs that went up like in a poof, and bangs that went down like this. So a fright wig, like Tina Turner in uh, What's Love Got To Do With yeah, It? Yeah, I guess. I guess. More like that. I was also wearing the same outfit that she has. Yep. <laughs> Is that the one? No, no, no. That's the. What's the one where that she sings from Mad Max? Oh, we don't need another hero. Yeah. Not as I was about to say. Be the children. Because <laughs> there are children in that one. Sure. And who are you feeding them to? Mm. Uh, no, you're giving them food. You're not feeding. I guess oh. you're feeding them to Tina. Sure. She's got an insatiable appetite for children. Yeah. I'm sure she does. She's been through a lot. Who am I to judge? She's like, I love children. 
to dine upon if they're properly cooked. That is yeah. her accent. Mm -hmm. Right there, I've mastered the team in her accent. Yeah. It's a national treasure. And her legs are insured for millions of dollars. So are there two shards in this quadrant? Looks that way. Hmm. One, I guess, must be on an island and the other must be in the sea? Oh, maybe it's on that platform. Maybe it's on, maybe it's on that platform. Maybe it's in that place for it. Treasure chest only going to appear it if I destroy all those thing. cannons. Yeah. It's gonna. Sh this would be a prime opportunity I'll to shoot, shoot you. Yeah. 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 I missed opportunity. Can you try killing everybody? Maybe that will make it from here. I like how it, it must have been a decision to make all the lookouts totally incompetent. That they're just sitting with their like telescopes in their laps when you approach. Weird. That was. Kind of weird. Good night, Grayson. Thanks for watching. Bye! Yeah. See you tomorrow, hopefully. This unlocked a Triforce piece, but maybe. I mean, you're swarming right around where it says the map. It says on the map there is one. Well, two, so this is confusing. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe. Let's see. So, what they did was um, originally all the Triforce pieces were in the ocean, and so you had to get eight uh, charts and then mm -hmm. go to eight different places and, yep. and dig them up. And you got Tingle decipher everything. Right, and so what they've done now is uh, replaced five of the charts with just pieces. Mm -hmm. So, it's possible this was a chart at one point. That would make sense. Makes sense as a chart, not yeah. as an actual piece. bad okay. though yeah it's pretty good i mean it's just a random platform prize goes oh where's my boat my boat really though yeah oh, oh. Nice. huh well so according to the map that triforce shard is like right in the direction that you're swimming right now but there's no like treasure spike or anything yeah well where's the island for like we haven't actually found there's always a land mass Maybe it's in a boat or something? So I think one of them's definitely going to be on an island. Maybe that's the other one there. Oh, yeah, because you have to lift the head, which I couldn't do before. Okay. Yeah, I guess yeah, that'll do it. Don't be a rupee! <laughs> there we go. Yay, a piece of cheese. It does look very cheesy. Yeah. I'm going to make you something cheesy for dinner tonight. What is it going to be? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. No. It's a surprise. Oh, how nice. Cheesy surprise. That's what it's called. It's just a piece of cheese. I'm just going to put like a couple pieces <laughs> of like, <laughs> lunch cheese. <laughs> it is homosexual Ursine fan reporting. Hello, Tribal Bear. Yes, hello, Tribal Bear 84. Good evening, I think it is for you. Yeah. I think it's yeah. like the middle of the night for you, though, right? It's probably pretty late for you, huh? Or maybe early morning. Yeah. In which case, good morning. Are you... So, London's eight hours ahead of us. Are you nine hours? I'm guessing. I may be wrong. 
Anyway, I can think of yeah. no better way to spend the middle of the night than uh, watching us bumble around with this giant head. Yes. Hopefully this will give you some nightmares. It's Justice Antonin Scalia. Although <laughs> it actually does kind of look like Scalia. It looks a lot like him. If you put little glasses on it. Did you? Oh, oh. Yeah. If you've ever wanted to like stare deeply into his lips. Uh, I like how it looks like uh, it's just Link's head at this point. Because <laughs> his legs are sticking out. Yeah, the fireworks going on around him. Did you hear? Goodness, 3.44 in the morning. Yikes. Um, I would criticize that, but I'm usually up at that time. So. It is. It's weird. Like, James will get up in the middle of the night. And I'll hear you, like, pouring coffee or something in the kitchen. It's just wake up. Well, or I just stay up until that time. Lately, you've been pretty good. You haven't been staying up late. You've just been waking up crazy early. Yeah. That is the case. And then I'll have feverish dreams and I'll wake up periodically in the night to hear- Oh, another one of these! Weird. Okay. Hopefully it's just fighting. No mazes, please. Yeah. Looks that way. Oh! We got a Triforce piece right outside. If there's another Triforce piece in here, that's weird to have two, like, yeah. right next to each other. Yeah, but if one of them used to be a chart... Sure, sure. I guess this was just a very, uh, magical part of my world. Yeah. Oh, um, I got this, this doofy mask that lets me see enemy health bars. Um, it was part of completing a mini dungeon. Was this, I can't remember, was this at the beginning? I mean, at the end of, uh, the, the Pit of Trials? Uh, yeah, I forgot it. That's not where it was originally, though. I don't remember where it was originally. I think it might have been something you got on Windfall. Like, I don't know if it was, I think it was something that the teacher or... gave you. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds right. Like, if you... If you got enough, um... The necklaces? Oh, the necklaces and gave her extra necklaces. She was like, ooh, I'm giving you my house and my jewelry. Here's some, here's some, here's some tacky jewelry in return. Yep. Oh, oh, wrong door. <laughs> Wonderful. That's going to be my anklet. But wait, you, did you tell me what this cheesy thing is you're gonna make? No, no, you're very interested, aren't you? Well, no, I'm cur I'm I'm worried to be quite honest. When you sometimes when you don't tell me what you're making, it's uh it's a surprise, and I don't like surprises. I'm gonna make you a chicken cordon bacon. Oh well, okay. Yes, I'm gonna wrap some chicken in cheese and bacon and serve it to you. Okay. And hopefully, if I do that, you yeah. will like it, oh. and you won't be annoyed that I'm also making salad. Why is a salad uh, Because I'm trying to eat more healthy food. Oh, that's you, though. That's me. Yeah. And uh, as I eat, so shall you. <laughs> it sounds like I'm quoting somebody there, but no. Goddess pottery for Yes. Aren't they wonderful? I love those heads. Oh, get the... No. Yeah. Oh, well, it's one rupee. Um, yeah, there's so many nice little details like that. Certainly true. 
Yes, goddess head, what a treat. <laughs> Sounds like something from Showgirls. Sounds kind of like that salad dressing. You know the goddess dressing? Oh, kind of? I don't know what it is. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's like Thousand Island with, um, right. Well, that sounds less fancy. Yeah. What goddess is that? Oh, Aphrodite, thank you for it's, this Thousand oh, Islands. It's the goddess of the Thousand Islands. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a oh, real legend. Awesome. Yeah. It's the opposite of Minnesota, the land of lakes. Sure. If you go to Nega, Minnesota, it's the <laughs> Thousand Islands. This is our universe where all the Minnesotans have goatees? Yes. And they don't like cheese. <laughs> oh, another piece of cheese. Mm. Yeah, we have this thing. We, you probably don't have it called goddess dressing. Um, I don't know. I think it was invented for the Lilith Fair. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's white and creamy? It I, I don't know what else to say about that. I, I've yeah. never actually had it, so I don't know. Yes. You apparently have, have met the goddess on your salad. isn't it? Well, no, I think we have all the ones that are oh, that's easily right. we got accessible, the so now it is time. Now it's time for the ghost ship. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save, just yeah, in yeah, case. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. I've used up all of my save slots on Dragon Age. It's starting to chastise me for having 50 saves. Oh, you have 50 saves? I do, I do. I've been playing a lot. I didn't realize that it would fill up. Yeah, it's odd that it does. Uh, I mean, they are fairly large saves, but I don't know why. I mean, play the PlayStation has plenty of... Okay, I didn't realize you could pause to do this. It doesn't make for good streaming, but um, the map is on the gamepad, and so when I'm trying to sail and navigate simultaneously, yeah, it it's like trying to text and drive. All right, go ship chart. Yeah, so now the go ship chart is this so... lovely astrological thing. Crescent... We want to go it's... to the Crescent Moon yeah, Island. Like, uh... And there is one. This is another thing too. I wish you could zoom in because you can't. Yeah. Instead of tapping one by one. Yeah. So is so let's that? Let's see if we can find the. Well, I think it's like called Crescent Moon Island. Yes. Yeah. Can you see this? We have an enormous, like, actual map. Crescent Moon Island is E one. So right up there. Okay. And what time of night is it? My favorite time of day is night. It's almost morning. So this. I don't know if we're gonna get there in time, but we can give it a shot. See if we can do it. I folded the map properly. Good job. Uh, it's not morning. So a lot of games fast travel, advance time when you do it, but I don't know if this one does. Like Skyrim would try to simulate how long it would have taken, but I don't <laughs> think Zelda cares. You said E1? Yeah, although it looks like... Oh no, we're still in the middle of the night. Yeah. Oh, so has, yep, exactly. Yeah, okay. Yep, it's gonna be somewhere in that square. Okay. And uh, set sail. I, oh, okay. And go fast. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, now we're coming oh, up. Oh, it's on morning. Way. So, <laughs> just missed it. Yep. So our next cycle is, is the diamond, be diamond where we were oh, recently. Oh, uh, yeah, but okay. Uh, this situation. All right, let me. It's unexpected. No. Okay, nope, wrong gadget. Gadget seems to be most fun. Oh, what? this is not correct. What do you mean? Because his eyes are shifting from red to yellow. Right? Yeah, they do. Uh, you have to hit them a few times before they die. I thought it would have indicated that you were doing things correctly by leaving them into the eyes. No. Yeah. It doesn't work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm sorry. 
Like you have to hit each one three times. Oh, and I may not make it because I was futzing around with the interface too much. Well, if you get to the center, it just ends. Got two? Yeah. 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 You did it. You killed a sea squid. I know, no big creature. Probably had to live a long time to get that big. Die. Murdered it. Good job. Well, okay, so we didn't get the ghost ship, but we did get something out of squid. Let's see what it has to offer. something. Alright. Oh. Nice. Well done. Worst, worst thing that could happen. Uh, oh, oh right. so you want to go back to the Diamond Island, right? Yeah. So that was in the lower... I think that was uh, A6? Maybe. I know, it's so annoying. The interface is annoying. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, well, I guess I'll just sail there. You could not have that in the GameCube version. It is the Swift Sail, uh, which makes you go twice as fast, and the wind is always at your back. Yeah. Uh, so it saves makes, so much time. And it also just makes sailing so much less tedious, because you don't have to stop and uh, change the direction of the wind constantly. And I guess the sailing is a little less realistic, but uh, who cares? Um, yeah, like, there's... <laughs> Just, like, how, how, what, what is the physics of this? Like, there's a, a new sail that you put on, and suddenly, because it's a different color, it it's catches magic. the wind better. It's a magic sail. Sure. We're in a world of fantasy. Um, uh, it's also, like, not entirely obvious how to get it. It's an auction thing. Yeah, it's a real surprise. You have to like, come back know. Yeah, to Windfall Island after doing some stuff, and then it gets added to the auction mix. It's very nice to have, though. I'm so frustrated to play this without it. Uh, they also changed the Triforce quest, which we're doing now, so instead of having to find eight Triforce charts, you only have to find three. And the rest of the Triforce pieces are just on islands. You know, I think when the game came out, uh, a lot of people complained about the sale. Mm -hmm. It didn't really bother me, but it was a it was a pretty major complaint. So it was one of the things they tried to address for the remake. I did find it a little tedious. It could be. Always having to do the song to change the direction of the wind every time you want to sail anywhere. Once you get the Ballad of Gales, though, you can kind of just land in the general vicinity. But yeah. Just being able to pick a direction and go wherever you want without having to worry about it. And you can switch, like you can go back to normal sail, fast sail. They're none of my concern. <laughs> Let them do their worst. circumstances could possibly have compelled a creature to evolve like this? Yeah. Well, uh, in Ocarina of Time, they were land-based flying plant mm, okay. monsters. This makes sense that they're fishy. Yeah. Right, make a good time. Uh, looks like you're going to get there just in time for sunset. Okay. Maybe just after sunset. And then basically we want to sail around until we see some... Squiggles. For sure. I forgot about that. What is that? We oh, done anything there? Yeah, there's a... There may have been a Triforce piece, or I think it might have just been the first Triforce map was in there. 
Yeah, I could do the song of passing. Um, I'm just gonna We're sail there. there. Yeah. Exciting approaching. That might be the ghosts. They made me sneeze. There's the sun going down. Oh, haunting. We're just entering the right part right now. Probably. Looks like a ghost ship. Wow. Now, what do we do to get? Thank you. Do we sail into? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crash into it. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you uh, for the blessing. Everyone's blessing, James. Ooh, this is spooky. Okay, so ray of sunlight. Yeah. Scary ghosts. We do Madonna's ray of light. Oh, the little plants in the Oh, wait, he's just. Oh, so, no. so lots of. Uh, <laughs> Oh, googly eyed. <laughs> the googly eyes are great. I do like the thing on the floor. It looks a little haunted mansion. Mm. Oh, I that. Yeah, I know. It's on the floor. That's unnecessary. I don't want to deal with the zombie guy until. Yeah, He's no, gone. That's, that's wise. I'm summoning a bunch of gold. Well, let's see if anything else appears. There's a Poe over there. Hiding with his lantern. Googly eyes. <laughs> Revenge. Plop. All right, that was <laughs> it's re dead. I mean, for all the build up to the uh, ghost ship, it's really anticlimactic. Mm -hmm. We got a chart for one room. We got to chase it all over the sea. It's got its own spooky floor. You know, even though we've had a bunch of those already, I wouldn't have minded if um. There were just a series of rooms like that with different yeah, yeah, yeah. spooky challenges. But whatever. I know this was a cut dungeon. Yay! Is that another the last wedge one? of cheese? Uh, I believe so. Me? Ah, the last char uh, shard. Or chard. The last piece of chard. Oh, what was that? I think it's the uh, ghost ship Ejecting evaporating you? forever. Yeah. What? What? Oh. <laughs> I thought the game had crashed. This is better than a crash. Yeah. Yay! Well done! You did it! This might be a good take a break point? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I missed the painting over the chest. What was it? I oh. guess I can rewind. The video is saved. It's a lady's face with a, with a nose. It's a face with a nose and a curlicues. But do you a face with a nose and a curlicue? Was it something like, like if you look at it, you get something special? It was a nice like, kind of moon-shaped face. Hmm. Now wait, you go back to Hyrule at this point. Is that the last? Is that the Ganon fight? Uh, it will be if we go there. Oh. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Okay. But, uh, I think that's probably a good place to yeah, wrap it up save. for the night. Uh, I'm sorry. gonna make you a cheesy surprise. That's really, that's the whole reason I want to wrap up, is so I can have a cheesy surprise. Sorry, uh, Tribal Bear, that we're not gonna go a little bit long. Oh, it there. turns into a skull when you close? Oh, oh that's that great. is very cool. That's very Haunted Mansion. Um, I... missed it. Oh, well. Yeah. Womp womp. That is a really nice touch. I'm just gonna go back to Emmett Island and oh. Park. Um, and then we'll probably do some just 
goofing around before Ganon to try to get maybe some more heart containers and that sort of thing. Yeah, and then when does Twilight Princess come out? Friday, I think. Friday, okay. So we got a week to do some fooling around before Twilight Princess. Yeah, and Ganon's Castle, if I recall, is long-ish, so that might oh, be two okay. sessions. Right, like I the, forgot about that. The boss fight is... is pretty long for a Zelda game, I if was, I recall. No, I was thinking about like that fight at the end where you're like in a water bubble. Oh, um, well that's, that's short. That's but then short, there's but a there's... whole bunch of other stuff. I forgot about all the stuff leading up to it. Yeah. Twitter has just informed me that a bunch of my friends have just liked a photo. Yeah, it does that for me too. I don't... I've never gone to one of those and been like, ooh, yeah, thank you for well, telling me. Well, okay, it's actually pretty good. It's, um... Yeah, it's cute. It, so it's a the, the back, it's art for the back of a um, Wii U pad. So that's pretty nice. That's not a Wii U pad. You should know Isn't better. It? No. Isn't it one of those? No. What is it? Oh, it's a DS. It's yes. a DS and a charger. Oh, that is nice. I thought it was the back of this thing. No. No, you need to know better than that. Okay, well, uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, we're going to be around the same time streaming stuff. Yeah. Um, and fooling around and doing ocean business. But for now, Very I'm going to enjoy ocean a business. Little chicken cordon bacon. Yes. I'm going to get to work. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.